Hey everyone, this is Sean from Gen4 Technology, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on how to initially set up your brand new out of the box Flux device. So let's go ahead and start it off with setting up our hardware, which will require the following items. Let's go ahead and grab these items and move them over to our workstation. Our first item in this case is going to be the Flux device's power adapter. Go ahead and hook this up to the back of your Flux device. Next we're going to go ahead and hook up our HDMI or VGA cable. Both of these can be hooked up at the same time if needed. Next go ahead and hook up your network cable. This cable will run from your switch or router at the installed's location. Next go ahead and hook up your USB mouse. This component is our primary option in controlling and navigating through our Flux device's interface. And finally connect any cameras you have to the back of your device. This leads us to part two of the video in which we'll explain how to set up the startup wizard. The first option within the startup wizard is going to be inputting a new secure password. This password needs to be at minimum eight characters and include an uppercase, lowercase letter, and either a special character or number. Following you will select your time zone and the date and time format of your choosing. You will then adjust your network settings as required. We recommend leaving this on DHCP, which will find an IP address available on your network and assign it to such. If you need to adjust the IP address, simply uncheck the DHCP option and fill in your IP address accordingly. You will also find the ports used in port forwarding within this section. By default, this model uses both the HTTP port and the server port for remote purposes. If needed, you may adjust each port as required. This brings us to the NAT feature option. Here you can enable the NAT option and scan the QR code provided to add to your mobile devices. Please reference our NAT setup video for more information. Next, you can add or adjust any IP or HD over coax cameras. To add a camera, select the option labeled Refresh to scan the network for any available cams. To adjust a camera's name, simply select the edit icon next to the camera of your choosing and adjust the name with what you'd like to call it. Following will take us to the disk settings. Here you can verify any hard drive installed within your Flux device is recognized and available for use. If you see anything but a green check mark under the status, select the format option to format your drive. Lastly, we will set up our record settings. Here you can select the best recording option fitting your installation. That wraps it up. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe, and comment with any videos you'd like to see in the future. Take it easy and see you next time.